We all love succeeding and wish to live rich, happy lives. But it seems that, at almost every corner, there's always someone trying to pull us down or make us feel bad. Every time we think we're just about to make it, a brick wall drops in the way and we can't seem to break through it. Life must just be so unfair to us. Or is it? What if we were to embrace the concept for a moment that we are the ones who are getting in our own way of reaching our goals? The truth is, you have so much more power over your life than you may be giving yourself credit for. If you don't think so, you might want to consider these 10 signs you're subconsciously sabotaging yourself. 1. You struggle with imposter syndrome. In 1978, psychologists Pauline Rose Clance and Suzanne Imms identified the behavioral pattern of believing that one has only stumbled into success and hasn't actually earned any of their achievements as imposter syndrome. Do you often feel that, even though you got a perfect score on your test, got hired for the job you applied for, or achieved any other goal you had set your mind to, it was just due to random luck and not actually because you deserved it? We all occasionally accomplish things without trying very hard, but this is rare. If you constantly think you're just getting lucky, you might be suffering from imposter syndrome. 2. You're overly self-critical. Are you always putting yourself down? Do you constantly focus on your flaws and issues rather than what you're proud of? We all have what's called the negative bias, which is meant to protect us from causing or experiencing future mishaps. But more times than not, this backfires and just makes us feel bad about ourselves for unnecessary and or illogical reasons. Being humble is virtuous, but constantly being negative and feeling sorry for yourself will only hold you back. 3. You procrastinate. According to the dictionary, procrastination is the act or habit of delaying or putting off something that usually requires attention. All of us have goals and finish lines we want to make, whether it be having a career of being a famous movie star or winning a video game tournament. But why is it that we distract ourselves from making our dreams become realities? In almost every case, this is because of fear. We're afraid of failing and would rather not suffer the embarrassment, disappointment, or any pain whatsoever that would come with it. Sure, it might be a little easier to just binge watch a show or go scrolling on social media during your free time, but this probably isn't going to help achieve your dreams. 4. You compare yourself to others. You got a B plus on your quiz, but your classmate George got an A. Your friend Stacy got complimented for her outfit, but you didn't. What's odd is that you probably felt fine until you made either of those comparisons. Why is it that we spend so much time focusing on what others have rather than what we have? This concept was first officially analyzed by social psychologist Leon Festinger in 1954. Essentially, he concluded that we compare in order to both reduce our uncertainty and help define ourselves. But unfortunately, comparing isn't the best way to help motivate us. In fact, most of the time, it just makes us feel like we're not good enough. And the more we do it, the more we feel we never will be. 5. Your life is disorganized. Does everything always feel really overwhelming and out of control? We all go through times of complication, but if one attribute of your life is in disarray and not taken care of, it will seep into more aspects of your life and thus could lead to even more procrastination. This is a sign that you need to start prioritizing your time, cleaning up the clutter, and putting everything where it belongs. 6. You initiate conflicts with those you love. Are you somehow always getting into arguments with your family? Are your friends frequently fighting with you? Conflict occurring in our lives one way or another is inevitable. But if it's somehow happening between you and your loved ones all the time, there's a good chance that you subconsciously fear intimacy. As human beings, we are comfortable with what we find familiar, and, believe it or not, if what we are familiar with is difficulty and turmoil, then being at peace with those we love may actually make us feel a little uneasy. This drives us to ignite more fights in order to get back into our comfortable area of chaos. Other times, it's because we fear rejection, so we begin a squabble before our companion has the chance to hurt us. Regardless, this is very unhealthy behavior and will only continue to sustain the sabotaging of our lives. 7. You lose your goals shortly after you achieve them. Have you ever received something you wished for only to lose it shortly afterwards? 
Did you finally get a relationship you wanted, but broke up within a few months? If this same problem keeps popping up time and time again in many areas of your life, this may be due to your beliefs and self-talk. On some core level, you may not believe in yourself and think you are unworthy. 8. You focus on problems rather than solutions. As John Lennon once said, there are no problems, only solutions. When something bad happens, it may surprise you to hear that it's not actually a problem. That is, as long as you don't perceive it that way. The truth is, you have full reign to believe whether an incident that occurred is an issue or not. If you find yourself complaining or curling up in a ball every time something you don't want happens, this is without a doubt a sign you're sabotaging yourself. 9. You're overindulgent. Now this is an easy telltale sign. Do you find yourself snacking out of boredom, even when you're not very hungry? Do you often stare at videos, watching one after another, even when you don't think they're interesting or entertaining? There's nothing wrong with watching shows or eating tasty food, but when we do this merely to distract ourselves, this is yet another sign we're procrastinating, and therefore continuing to sabotage ourselves. 10. You question whether you have a purpose in life. When we're not working towards what we want in our lives, we might start asking the big question, what's the meaning of my life? Is there a point to anything I'm doing? Am I who I'm meant to be? Life is what you make of it, and lots of these questions simply don't have logical answers you can find. Pondering these thoughts will usually just lead you to overthinking, which is such a waste of your time and energy. Do you think you're sabotaging yourself? Have you identified with any of the points shown in this video? Let us know in the comments. If you want more helpful videos on psychology, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching!